Okay guys, welcome to the Forensic Detailing channel. So this new um, how to detail a car vlog. What we're going to be doing is it's, it's aimed at people that are new to detailing, okay? So, you know, you start off in detailing, it's not, it's, it's not detailing in your mind, it's just cleaning cars. And then you kind of get into the whole detailing side, the product scene, spending more time on your cars, investing in more products. And, and learning, you know, because there's quite a lot to it, believe it or not. So what I wanted to do was really take a car that's undetailed and detail that car and film the process. And that's what we're going to be doing with the How to Detail a Car vlog. Got there all too fast All you could hope for Turned right on into dust My sweet Lord Where am I bound? Help me get my feet Back on the ground My sweet Lord Back on the ground My sweet Lord Where am I bound? Help me get my feet Back on the ground Okay, so one of the most important things I think you can do when you're doing a full detail on a car, a restorative detail. So you're taking a car that might, you know, it's typically not gonna be a new car that's in fantastic condition. It might be a slightly older car that has certain issues that can be corrected under a detailer's remit, you know. Um, you know, that being things that can be cleaned, things that, that can be polished, things that can be dressed and things that can also be refinished as well I kind of I, I will get into because certain things detailing can't fix so the first thing you need to do basically is grab yourself a pen and paper and you need to have a look at your car and go around your car with a fine tooth comb and make a list of all the things that you need to sort and then you need to attach a priority against that and then a price okay so that's what we're going to be doing first. Okay guys, so one common problem that you get on interiors that you've probably all seen on older cars is this surface kind of deterioration. I'm hoping you can see this in the light. Let's just get some light there. There you go. So you can see all along here where it's all the surface is all delaminated and this this paint coating, it's got a slight stickiness to it, it's starting to fail. And you can actually, if, I don't know if you can see this too well, but let's just take a little bit of this under the light. You can actually scratch, you can actually scratch straight through that coating now, it's, it's gone, okay? It's got a slight stickiness to it and it's coming off. So I've stripped this door, this door arm out of the car um, which is always fun and games taking a door card off and messing around with it and what I'll be doing is taping this all up sanding this all down now I could spray it myself and I was going to so that's the first thing on the list second thing inside the cockpit steering wheel the surface of the leather there is worn away it's still intact enough and it's not cracked underneath that that can be refinished. So that, again, detailing cannot sort out. The wheel beyond that is in good condition, okay? So we will just be getting this refinished. Secondly, very similar to the door armrest problem, this, um, these 
panels here if you can just see all that and see down here all these scratch marks they again this surface is failing so these are going to need to be refinished or replaced so that's going to be a pain and very similar down here this main center console all the plastics in there are all scratched through okay so this center console if we zoom out a little bit this entire center console is going to have to come out then we're going to be sanding these down and getting them refinished properly and over here you can see where i've taken the door pop the door card off ready Ooh. where i've popped the door card off um, and taken the uh, armrest out beyond that the interior of the car all the carpets are in good condition these seats are going to come out we're going to wet vacuum all, all this because it's got a slight musky smell in here and we are going to wet vac all these and get the carpets in a nice condition the passenger seat leather is in fantastic condition um, so we haven't got to worry about that at all unfortunately the driver's seat bolster there's some cracking there but it's mainly where the paint is being rubbed away so we're going to get this refinished and probably this bolster here refinished maybe even the entire seat yeah to address that well it's not that looks worse on the camera than it actually is but uh yeah we'll probably get this this seat refinished on oh, one other thing the gear knob we're probably going to get this refinished again because the paint's worn away um, it'd probably be better to refinish it than replace it because I think they're probably reasonably expensive to get an original one I don't want some fake one so in summary the interior of the car not too bad some delamination issues that we're going to sort out and some leather issues here and then we, the rest of the problems inside the car can be sorted with detailing so that's good externally this m3 badge is faded slightly so that's going to be replaced and coming off externally this m3 badge is faded slightly so that's going to be replaced and coming off and all we've really got to do on the outside is change over that m m sport badge on the back and then do some paint correction so I'll just show you very crudely here it's gonna be a bit of a problem getting the focus isn't it but hold on I'm gonna switch to manual right where are you where are you you scratches there you are look so what you're dealing with is pretty it's actually okay okay so we there's damage in here you know you can see it but it's the type of it's the type of stuff that will correct and it's not too deep oh, you can see it in that light there there we go look at that it's not too deep it looks bad but it's not bad and we are going to get the paint oh, there's a nice one right there where's my finger <laughs> there look at that okay generally generally the paintwork come on come back to me on this car is okay I've had the front bumper repainted to take all of the stone chips out of there um, and that needs refining it's been flattened and compounded but it needs refining you can't see in this picture but if I get heavy light on there there's buffer trails in this paintwork but that's fine that was part of the uh, part of the deal and as you can see here we have half for you to see but it just gives you an idea of the of the paint it's amazing when you get the the light in the right place and focus you can suddenly it all just jumps out on you doesn't it so there it all is you can see it from the light reflection so generally let's go back in auto focus generally decent paint um, and once it's been compounded and refined and I think this is a candidate for a two stage you know definitely needs two stage the one stage probably isn't going to be aggressive enough and it's quite old paint 
and we're probably going to jewel the paintwork on this car afterwards as well because it's an unusual colour it's really nice it's a really nice colour choice and this is it's a sort of flat paint that when you really get it refined and you really jewel it it will really shine and it will look good but it needs it's going to take quite a lot of time unfortunately um, so that's next on the hit list okay guys so we're going to strip down the interior now on the m3 we're going to uh, take out the door cards take out the center console take out the, the center instrument panel bit as well and get all the pieces which we need to refurbish off of the car
all across the Star Coast. Now don't touch the doors. Okay guys, so a couple of hours later, we have pretty much everything we wanted off of the car. Always a pain when you're going into the car to strip stuff out. Um, especially these plastic components that a bit like trying to dismantle um a rubik's cube you know but anyway everything's out so i'm going to show you all the bits now that we need to sort out so let's do this in real time so you can see in there the car stripped out you need to give these carpets good clean they're in good condition they just need cleaning and then uh, wet vacuum. Um, so there we go. The door cards are in really good condition. They're just gonna. They're so much easier to clean and detail when they're off the car like this. You can really scrub at the whole lot. Um, so we'll give all that those plastic bits a good scrub down with the APC and wipe back, and then probably dress them. And then we've got the leather section, blue leather sections in the middle. Um, so they'll clean up nice. There's our two arm pieces, completely delaminating. And that one not as bad, but still not great. It still needs to be done. And then if you look at the center, the center console, just in bad shape. It's kind of got this, just zoom that in there. It's kind of got this rubberized plastic on it. And if I just pop this down, kind of see here, zoom in, 
There you go. Sorry, I'm using autofocus. You can kind of see here. You can just scrape it off. It is. There you go. It is failing. So the plan with this part is to sand it all down and then um, sand it all down, primer it, and then refinish it with this stuff, which someone said on the forums, the, the Facebook page is good for these. So we'll try it. If it doesn't work, we'll get a professional to refinish them. Um, but we're going to get the professional to refinish these because they're a funny colour um, and get the leather seats done so yeah it's really quite bad actually the way the, these components do this if you see that there it's just you know they, they really should be coated I've, I've seen on happen on a few things like this I've got another one of these radios upstairs and it's got exactly the same problem this one's all right it's just got gloss plastic but they have this like rubberized coating on them and it fails and this is the same this is failing all around there and all these components are quite expensive to replace you know we've talked about 100 quid for one of these maybe even more um, and all these things here you can't really have horrible tatty ones that are all falling to bits so we either have to refurbish that up to a good standard or replace it. Okay, so that's where we are day one. Stripped everything out of the car. Um, We'll get someone in to refurb and repaint the leather bits that need touching up. The overall condition's pretty decent. The leather's just got a slight, you know, slight bits where it's warm, but it's not gone through. So that will just get refinished. Same with the gear knob, same with the steering wheel. Hoover it all out, wet vac it, refurbish all those bits, refit everything back into the inside of the car and then the inside's done and then we can move on to the outside. 